Mikel. This is it, a fitting name for, for a fight like this, the, fi the final eliminator. This is it, this is it, this is it. What I've been training for 12 weeks for, putting my body through it, um, being on weight, nutrition, strength and conditioning, I'm ready. Yeah, D Dom just said that you've completely uh, changed uh, your, all your training regime and that if, if you're watching the, Carl jo uh, sorry, the Carson Jones fight, that they'd be watching a completely different fighter. What have you changed and how are you feeling because of that? You know, I've, I've, I've changed the way I've approached when I go into the gym. You know, the eye of the tiger's back. You know, uh, on nutrition, that's been a big key. My weight has been on it. I've been, you know, 100% energised in the training session to get to get the best out of me. So for 12 weeks, I haven't been halfway through a training session, like, being nothing there. I've been, for a full training session, being absolutely pumped and putting myself through it. So, you know, I've been getting fitter. My heart rate has been very low. We've been having heart rate monitors on, been having my blood, blood checked and, you know, t the oxygen, everything, all different kinds of tests. So, you know, now, you know, you know, uh, numbers, you know, numbers don't lie and I'm getting great results and uh, I can't wait to be rocking Sheffield Arena Saturday night, I cannot wait. Uh, Exeter Saldivia is it, very tough. He's not more people out than uh, I've had fights. It's the first time I've seen him today. Um, he looked weathered, you know, but he's earned his right to be positioned he's been in, to, to be in. Um, you know, so it's going to be two gladiators Saturday night, you know, putting put a big show on for the fans. And have you enjoyed the change in training? Yeah, I've enjoyed the tra uh, different kind of training. It's not the same thing. Every day is different. I don't, I, I don't, I, you know, I turn up to training and, and something new is happening or I'll, I'll wake up and I'll get an email uh, saying that my diet's this for this day and I, food I've not even seen before, you know, getting delivered. So uh, it keeps me on my toes. Um, so I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this. And who's been organising that? Is it, was, was I right in hearing that it was someone from Sheffield University? Yeah, uh, Dave Hembra, Sheffield University, been strength conditioner. He's my strength conditioner. David David Starch down at S1 Supplements. He's my nutritionist, you know. And them two have been a big key, big key factor in uh, in, my, in the changes in me and uh, and the performance I'll I'll uh, I'll be bringing this Saturday. And uh, you, you were on ringside the other week with a good pal of yours, um, Amir Khan. Uh, do you want to tell us uh, has there been any discussions since then? There's not been no discussions. Uh, Ed is in talks with them, but you know he was giving it the old the old chat down there, Queen Khan. Uh, but you know, talk is cheap. You know, let's get it on that ring. And uh, when I land one on his on his on his brittle chin, it's a uh, good night of Vienna for him. And he's someone you've ha had your eye on for a while. Is it is it someone? Is he someone you're going to have to take out to maybe uh, so you can maybe get out of his shadow, or, or is that not something you think about? No, I don't think about that. I've got Hector Saldivir in my mind now. Um, take care of him, and if that does fight, up, if that fight happens one day with me and Con, uh, you know, I'll retire him. Your last three fights have been huge fights here at the Motor Point Arena. Um, if and when you win this fight, where next? Where, where are you hoping to be uh, throw, th throwing the lever in? I don't know where it'll be, but I know that I'll be fighting for a world title. So you know, I'll be training like a monster like this monster because I know, I know that you know I've took my body to a different place where it's never been before and I'm you know I'm I'm going to be in a I'm, I'm in a super position you know to 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 hit it where, I, where you know hit it where I left off and and carry on with with this journey and carry it through for that world title fight and I'll be you know I'll be I'll be more or less the machine for that well, the best of luck with that, Kel. But if you don't mind, just I'll quickly put the, the, t the camera onto your T-shirt. We'll be giving away a couple of these via the Matching Boxing Twitter account this week and your one as well. So uh, does it feel good on you? feels real good. feels real good, baby. Well, we've definitely got one red one, a Kel Brook one, and uh, two Corner Man ones to give away. So uh, hopefully people can get following you and uh, we'll see what happens later in the week. Yep, keep, keep, you know, keep tweeting, keep following. And uh, we'll be chucking these t-shirts out for you. Top man, thank you.